Hi guys and welcome back to my channel, Blue Nose Trading. My name is Tori Solis and today I'm going to be sculpting another dragon pot. This pot I'm going to do something a little bit different. Normally I use the trim tool on the wheel to add the base and the feet to my pot. And today I'm sculpting little nubs on to give this pot a little bit of a different type of foot. So I just made these little rectangles and attached them slip and score style. And then I'm going to also add a texture to this pot. I'm going to do a cratered texture using my round carving tool. I actually broke my tool trying to make this texture because it was a really cheap tool. So now I have to find another one. <laughs> Probably get a nicer brand since I broke it. I'm allowed to have a new one. Now I'm going to go ahead and sponge down to smooth off the rough edges. And then I'm going to get started on making the dragon itself. With this dragon, I want to make him stronger, stronger than the ones before because I'd like for this one to be maybe leaning towards something that might be able to be shipped in the mail one day because I know a lot of you would like to have a dragon and right now I'm making them so delicate that it's like impossible to send them anywhere. So for this one I was ex going to experiment with some different design ideas that were possibly a little stronger. He's most of him is touching the pot, which is going to add to his security, so he's wrapped around it really good and he's connected at a lot of points. His head and his jaw are pretty similar to ones that I've made before. He doesn't have a long neck and that helps add to his stability, but the jaw is sculpted out independently with the teeth added and then attached in and smoothed into the head as a whole. Just getting in there with some underglaze so that it can be red inside. I'm using crimson. I'm not sure if this technique is going to work, but it's impossible to paint in there after the jaw has been attached. Now I'm adding some details and embellishments to his head. I'm going to go ahead and sculpt out his arms and his legs. Again, when I'm doing this, I'm considering how he's holding himself onto this pot. So he's got his left arm down in the pot with his palm pressing against it, and then his right arm is up on the top clinging to it, because that's kind of how I imagine he would be holding himself to this if he were applying pressure to hold himself up. Now I'm going to start on the different spike design. I'm basically making his, sh his spikes like the shapes of shark teeth, not teeth, well teeth, yeah, but fins, and I'm going to layer them thickly and kind of jackedly across his back, and again, the spikes take the longest, the longest part of this process, so I'm just going to add them one at a time, sculpt out each individual piece one at a time. And we skipped a lot because my camera cut out because Mercury Retrograde was happening while I filmed this. So now I'm going to smooth and refine him. I really like how the spikes turned out. He kind of looks like, like a chainsaw or a saw blade. He's really awesome and hardcore looking, so I'm a fan of it, but I still think I like the really fine spikes better visually, just as a personal preference. So. After I finish refining some of the details, I'm going to add his slip scales, which is a technique I use to add a pattern to the top of his body, which basically makes him look like he has scales. So if you'd like to see a weekly art video, you can subscribe to this channel, Blue Nose Trading. If you think this dragon turned out pretty well, you can like this video and I'd appreciate it. And if you'd like to watch my videos in full time instead of 65 times speed on YouTube, you can go to my Patreon at patreon.com slash blue nose trading and you can sign up for full length videos, early access to all my YouTube videos, and other awesome exclusive content. So I will see you guys next week and thank you. Thank you.